Friends, if your PHP program needs to access a database, first you need to connect to the database from PHP. You can use MySQLi or PDO to connect to the database. For MySQLi, you can use procedural or object oriented style connection. I'll show here how to connect to MySQL database using each of these connections and I will also show you how to fetch data from the database using these connections and display the data in a HTML table. So I have opened PHP My Admin. So if you install XAMPP, MySQL will also be installed and you can use PHP My Admin to manage the database. So if you use localhost PHP My Admin, you will see the database and we will be using the test database here which comes by default. As of now test database is empty. We will be creating tables in this test database. So let us now see what are the different ways we can connect to this test database from PHP. So I have created a DB connect folder under XAMPP docs. So I will keep all the files under this folder. Let me open Visual Studio code from here. CMD code dot. Okay, so let us create a PHP file here. So we'll connect to MySQL database using MySQLI procedural connection. So we'll use MySQLI underscore connect. So this is the function to connect to a database. So it needs the parameter. So it needs server. Then user ID, password, and database name. So these are the parameters it needs, and it returns a, and it returns either true or false. So let us give a dollar connect equal to. Now let us define these values. So dollar server is our local host. Then user ID will be root. We'll be using the root user ID, so default user ID. And there is no password for root user ID. And we'll be using the test database. So DB name equal to test. C O N N. So let us save this. Let us save this as DB connect underscore PRO for procedural. Now we have to check the connection. So connection can be successful or it can give error also. So we we'll just check the connection. So if there is any error, so we'll use not dollar connect. So if connection there is an error in the connection, so this will be true. So we'll use die here because we don't want to proceed further. And we want to print the error. So mysqli underscore error mysqli underscore connect error. So this will give the error message. And if there is no error, we just want to um, give the message saying connection is successful. So here we are using mysqli underscore connect which needs four parameters. We have given the values of these parameters and we are checking whether the connection is successful or not. If there is any error, so negation of dollar connect that is not dollar connect will be true and program will stop here with the message error message. And if there is no error, it will give the message procedural connection is successful. So let us run this. So if we go to browser, we give localhost, localhost, then we have DB Connect. Our folder name is DB Connect, and our file name is DB Connect underscore pro. So it is showing. Procedural connection is successful. So our connection is successful. So this was procedural connection. So we'll now use object oriented style connection. So this was for MySQLi procedural connection. Let us just give a comment here.
Okay, so let us now save it as a defined file name. So we'll give it as object oriented. So let us give a name as underscore o o. So we have a defined file now. So we'll change this to MySQLi object oriented style. And we have the parameter will be same. And instead of MySQLi connect, we'll use new MySQL. So this is actually creating a new instance of MySQLi and it will take the same parameters as before. So here now we'll check if there is any error. So here we have to just change a little bit dollar connect. So if there is any error, we'll show the error and program will stop here. So we'll just change it to dollar connect connect error. and also change the procedural to object oriented. So this is the object oriented style of connection to MySQLi. So we'll just save it and then we'll run it also. So here we'll just use new MySQLi and all the parameters will remain same. And here we are just checking dollar connect error. So if there is any error, we are displaying the message and program will stop here. We are using die. And if there is a successful connection, it will give the message as a connection is successful. So let us run this also. So we'll just change it to OO. So you can see object to interest style connection is successful. So this is another type of connection using MySQLi. So now we'll see the PDO connection. PDO connection will enable us to connect to different databases, not just MySQL. So that is the advantage of using PDO, whereas MySQLi will connect only MySQL database. So let us just see how we can connect to MySQL database using PDO. So let us save this. We'll save it as a different file name. Let us give the name PDO. So we'll use try catch here. We'll use the same parameters here and instead of new MySQLi, we'll use PDO. So we'll just copy this. We'll create a PDO instance here and in the PDO we need a DSN name first. So this will be actually a string. So we'll just use a string here and user ID password will remain same. Database name will come in the DSN. So here we'll change it. So we are creating the DSN here with the host as a local host and DB name we are using test. So this is our DSN string and user ID password. So after that we need to use the set attribute method here and we need to set the attribute error mode to exception. And let us give a message here. If successful connection is run, we'll just give a message here. Okay, so if there is any error, we'll just raise the exception here. So here in the PDO connection, we are using a new PDO instance and creating a DSN name for the server and database name, then use ID password. Set the error mode to exception here. So for successful connection, it will give the message PDO connection is successful. And in case there is an error, it will come in the cache section. 
and it will show the error message and program will stop here so let us run this also pdo so it is showing pdo connection is successful so all the three types of connection we have tested and they are connecting to the test database successfully so now we'll create another program which will connect to the database and select data from a database table and display the data in an html table we'll use three different types of connection in that example and show how we can use that connection string in a php program the comment should be pdo let us create a new table in the test database currently test database is empty so we'll create a new table we'll create a simple table with two columns let us give that table name as categories number of columns two create we'll give a id and then name so this is where care let us change this to primary key and we'll change it as auto increment and we'll just insert few rows in this table so i have a script written here i'll just insert this so this has a different table names categories and this is id and name so we'll just insert these four rows in the table so rows are created so we have four rows so now we create a new file here we'll create a index.php initially it will be an html table and then we'll get the data from the database and display the data in that html table so let us create a new file we will use bootstrap 5 cdn so we'll just get the link from the get bootstrap we'll copy the cdn here paste it here and this is our custom style so we'll just create a folder css and we'll write little bit of style also so we'll add css later so this is our index.php and then we'll create the html table bootstrap 5 html table So we'll use three columns here. We we'll just use a serial number and then category ID and name. We are just keeping one row because we will be using the loop anyway. So let us just change this and we'll just see. So if we just run it now. We just use DB Connect. So it is showing the table. <coughs> we'll just add some little bit of style. Let us give title and head here. so we'll just quickly add some css here we 
Let us give some background for the header. So now we'll use the PHP code here. So this is just HTML static HTML file. We have not selected any data from the database. So here first we'll connect to our database using the procedural connection. We are including database connection script. This has the advantage of reusing the code. We write the scripts once and use them multiple times. And now we will write the SQL statement. So we will just select everything from the categories table. Now we have to execute the query. So we will use $result equal to So we'll use MySQL I query to execute the SQL statement. So MySQL I query will take two parameters. One is connection string. So if you see that procedural connection, we have dollar $connect. This is our connection handler. So we'll use here and then give the SQL. Now we'll use a for loop to fetch the data and display it. So here now if you see we are first writing the serial number so we need a counter here so we'll just initialize it here then we'll increment it within the loop. Okay, so now here we need to just replace this. Oh, this is not the ID. It should be the counter first. So we just change it. So we are fetching the data and printing it here. ID and name. And we have to just close the loop. So this is a simple PHP program. We are just connecting to the database, selecting the data from the categories table and then we are executing it. And here in a for each loop, we are fetching the data and displaying in the HTML table. So let us run it and see. So we have index.pictures. So we just have to refresh it. So you can see the data is printed here. And you can see procedural connection is successful here. So we are using procedural connection and displaying all the four rows from the database table. So we have four rows here and they are displayed here in the table. When we are using this connection, we don't need this uh, echo statement. So we'll just remove it. In fact, we'll remove it from all these three files. So now we want a different connection here, object oriented style connection. So here we'll use dbconnect underscore oo.php. Our select statement will remain same. And here in this case, we have to change the query execution. Dollar connect and query. So we don't need dollar connect here. Save it. So we are executing the query here. And we don't have to change it here anything. So let us just run it. You can see the database is connected using the object. So let us just uncomment this and let's see. Object oriented style of connection is used here. And you can see all the data is displayed here. And similarly, if we use PDO, let us uncomment this. So for PDO, we'll use this include PDO 
and select statement will remain same and we'll execute the query in the same way and we don't have to change anything here so let us just run it you can see pdo connection is successful and the data is displayed here using the pdo connection so we have seen that all the three types of connection how we are connecting from php and using those connection we have used this in a, another program to get the data from the database and display it in a html table so this way you can connect to a mysql database and fetch data to display in an html table using different types of connection in php i have made it simple for this video without using any prepared statement for query execution you can visit codehowto.com to see many other development topics in php please see the description of this video for the links i hope it was useful for you please give a like and subscribe to the channel thank you